Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Modern War Magazine number 26, which was from November and December 2016. It has a special game in it, the Soviet-Afghan War from 1979 to 1989. This was the Soviet Union's Vietnam. Uh, some could ar argue that Chechnya was another Vietnam of theirs. All right, here's where the game begins. Let's see how many pages are in it. Looks like there's 16 pages of rules and charts for the game. Starts out with an intro. And then starts going over the playing pieces, or chits, whatever you want to call them. Looks like it's got a combat factor, a unit type, gorilla factor, and a movement value. And some units have infinite movement, which I assume means they can go anywhere on the board. Alright, now it's going over setup, and here's the sequence of play. That's what we're interested in. Each turn constitutes one year of operations. Wow. No wonder there's infinite movement on the map, or at least with some of the units. Alright, so you got a turn sequence that starts on. You get a control check phase where you determine the number of morale points each side uh, gets. And then a communist mobilization phase, which consists of a campaign marker subphase and a recruit subphase. And then there's a resistance mobilization phase, which has a campaign marker subphase and a recruit subphase. And then a communist political warfare phase. And after that, you have a communist operations phase followed by a DRA uh, morale subphase, not sure what DRA is, and a resistance counter offensive phase. And then last you have an admin phase. So there's plenty of steps in the sequence of play. Now it's going over morale. And then going over stacking. Could be an unlimited unit number of units in a staging area, unlimited number of resistance units in the space, and up to six communist mobile ground units in a space. And friendly and enemy can't be in the same space. Now it's going over the staging areas. Resistance units, ground movement, airborne movement, resistance reaction, and ground combat, followed by the it's got a ground combat sequence. And there's a resistance counteroffensive, and here it's going over the optional rules. And how many scenarios do we have? There's a 1979 scenario one. Scenario two is also 1979. Scenario three, same year. And then you have a 1984 scenario. And followed by a second scenario for 1984. All right, let's see what the components look like. All right, here's the map. It is a point-to-point -point map. It doesn't look particularly in particularly interesting, but I'm sure it's functional. Looks like you got some air bases here too and stuff. On the map, you have a turn record track, a phase track, and here it looks like uh, you can put Iranian units here. Here's where resistance reinforcements not yet in play are placed. Uh, resistance air defense activated and Islamic and intervention units not yet in play and resistance events in play. And here's your resistance morale and your resistance morale track. Up here you have a random location placement table along with a communist morale table. And here you have a communist morale track followed by a tactical superiority chart and a combat results table on the map that's always nice and communist morale point expenditure and here's a morale gain and loss chart and here's your terrain effects chart along with the terrain effect key here's the counters looks like they have standard NATO, standard NATO military symbols uh, other than the aircraft those have actual pictures of the aircraft but that looks about what I'd expect for a modern magazine game you're not going to get the same quality of counters as a box game, but this isn't bad for a magazine game. Looks like a few of the units are double-sided. 
Thanks for watching. Hopefully someday I'll get a chance to try this game. Uh, as you've probably heard, I'm selling used war games on my website. I'm going to put some new ones up uh, later this week. i got some other stuff I'm trying to sell. And I also have a buy list. I'm going to add some stuff to there too because I've come across some new games I need to get. So have a good evening.